Good morning, Grade Six. Welcome back to Grade Six Mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. Let's discuss the rest of the questions from Revision Time Exercise of Chapter Thirteen today. So, in the previous class, we had discussed the first five questions. So, today we'll start with question number six. Please look at your textbook. This is in page number two hundred two. So, the question says here four circles of the same radii are arranged so that there is exactly one line of symmetry for the shape by drawing circles of the same radii create shapes that have exactly 2 3 4 and 5 lines of symmetry you can draw any number of circles so you have to get creative to work out this question a sample figure is given here with four circles so when you arrange four circles of the same radii like this how many lines of symmetry are possible there is only one vertical line of symmetry possible here the question is to draw as many circles as needed but the circles should be of the same radii and you have to draw arrangements of circles in such a way that the resulting figure should have two lines of symmetry three lines of symmetry four lines of symmetry and five lines of symmetry we can draw different arrangements of circles but make sure all the circles are of the same radii doesn't matter how many circles you are using but make sure you are showing the lines of symmetry properly now i hope this is clear to you let's discuss the seventh question it says draw at least five different shapes using five squares or pentominoes and draw the lines of symmetry of each refer to the example so here you are asked to create different shapes using five squares or you are asked to create or draw different pentominoes so what are pentominoes we get pentominoes when we join five equal sized squares and they are joined edge to edge so here an example is given for pentominoes you can see five squares are connected edge to edge and they are all of the equal size so you have to draw shapes like this and here you can see a diagonal line of symmetry so when you draw pentominoes in the given grid make sure they are all of different shapes and you have to show the lines of symmetry as well so i hope this is clear to you you can refer to the example given now let's discuss the eighth question it says on the grid draw the shape so that the dotted lines are the lines of symmetry color the shapes as directed now in your textbook you are given four set of images in each image a vertical line of symmetry and a horizontal line of symmetry is given and small figures are also given like a small circle a small triangle a small square and a small rectangle you have to draw the mirror images of the given figure so that the resulting figure the resulting image will be symmetrical along a vertical line of symmetry and the horizontal line of symmetry also you have to color the resulting pattern or resulting image based on the key given you have to color a circle in blue triangles should be colored in red squares should be colored yellow and rectangles should be colored in green so i hope this is clear to you please complete the question you can do that in your textbook itself now the ninth question draw flowers in the correct boxes so that the dotted line will become the line of symmetry of the shape so this figure is given in your textbook a horizontal line of symmetry is given a few flowers are also given in the grid you have to draw in a flowers so that the resulting image is symmetrical about the horizontal line of symmetry for example there is a flower here you have to draw a flower here now there is a flower here you have to draw the corresponding mirror image in the suitable square complete the image like this i hope this is clear to you the 10th question the 10th question says a shape is created using circles and triangles which is symmetrical about a line create such shapes using two or three geometrical shapes so here you can see this image which is given in your textbook this image is symmetrical about a vertical line of symmetry and this image is created using different geometrical shapes like triangles and circles you have to create such similar shapes using different geometrical shapes like 
triangles, circles, squares, rectangles and so on. And the resulting shape should be symmetrical about at least one line of symmetry. So I hope the questions are clear to you. So let me remind you the homework for the day. Complete all the questions from revision time exercise. Also work out the questions given as MCQs. Once you are done with the answers, please to take a picture and send us through Teams. So that's all for today children. We'll meet in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, bye.